Right now, the Dane County Jail is overcrowded. The two solutions on the table that would cost millions. And rain chances are on the increase for the later part of this week. We are timing those out and your first warrant forecast. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now This Morning. I'm Chris Stanford. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I'm Leah Lynchide. The Dane County Sheriff says he's looking into temporary housing options for jail residents as new jail plans continue to stall. Tomorrow, the county's Personnel and Finance Committee is set to consider an additional $23 million to the already approved $148 million. Sheriff Calvin Barrett is considering temporarily housing city county building residents in surrounding county jails now. That would cost more than $13 million a year. That is uh, money that is going to be on the burden of us as taxpayers to be paying that, and that money has no return back to us. The sheriff would not need the county board's approval to go forward with this solution if he chooses. In 2020, there were about 500 people in the city county building. As of right now, there are 648. Happening tonight, Police Chief Sean Barnes is holding a virtual event to talk about reducing gun violence in Madison. The Cap Times reporting Focused Interruption CEO Anthony Cooper will be there, along with representatives from the National Institute for Criminal Justice Reform. The event will be held on Zoom. You can take part if you'd like. A link to sign up is over on channel3000.com. Continuing coverage this morning, production on the movie Rust is wrapping indefinitely. It comes after a cinematographer died in an onset accident involving a gun. In a letter sent to cast and crew, the production team announced it would wrap work on the New Mexico set until the investigation is complete. The shooting happened after actor Alec Baldwin was handed a prop gun, which he was told was safe. An autopsy shows that three-year-old Major Harris likely died around the same time as his mother, a week before his remains were found. Harris's body was found on Thursday in an alley in Milwaukee. Investigators have ruled his death as a homicide. Police continue to investigate what happened to Major and his mother. Major's father says he will be buried in Madison rather than in La Crosse, where he's from. New this morning, Milwaukee police seeking information regarding these two missing boys. Come take a look. They were last seen September 22nd. Adrian Shaw and Kay Haywood were believed to be with their mother, Megan Shaw. Shaw was supposed to turn over her children to her husband on the 22nd, but never did. If you know where the kids are this morning, please contact Milwaukee Police. State Republicans plan to launch another investigation of the 2020 election. Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahieu announced Monday that GOP leaders will authorize the Senate Elections Committee to probe the election administration. This follows the release of an election audit on Friday. That report did not find any widespread fraud in the state, but it did offer recommendations for the State Elections Commission to consider. Well, this is on top of the GOP-sponsored taxpayer-funded election investigation already underway. Yesterday, a judge set a December 23rd hearing on whether to block a subpoena demanding records from the Elections Commission. Earlier this month, former State Supreme Court Justice Michael Gableman sent subpoenas to the commission in five Democratic-leaning cities demanding election records and ordering officials to appear. This week, the city of Madison will make its final round of speed reductions of the year to try and make our roads safer. It's part of the Vision Zero program with the goal of hitting zero traffic-related deaths by 2030. Traffic officials say the program is a success so far, but there are some challenges. I think the biggest um, kind of hurdle or, you know, um, the biggest uh, measure of success, I would say, is if we can adapt driving culture. The mayor says the program has reduced speeding between 30 and 90 percent in some areas. All right, 603 now. Let's get a check of your certified most accurate forecast with Chris Reese. Hey, Chris. We've made it to the freezing point. 32 is that temperature outside right now. Dew point to 30, which means there's still room for that temperature to drop even just a little bit more. 27 in Lone Rock, 21 in Camp Douglas right now. Janesville, you have made it into the 30s. You are at 36. A lot of our reporting stations said, you know what? I'm clocking out this morning. Most of us are seeing those temperatures into the 30s. Doppler track is all clear for us. We're likely staying clear today. But our next system, folks, it's already getting itself together back towards the west. This is what is going to introduce our next chances to rain as we go forward and then ultimately introducing a little bit of a cooler pattern around here as well. So we're quiet over the Midwest today, but watch how this changes as we put things into motion. This is tomorrow night at 930. 
we will be dry, but if you pull out your first worn weather app and look at radar, you'll see the showers back to our west across parts of Minnesota, Iowa, and even into Missouri. By Thursday afternoon, that's when it's working its way into town, and we're going to see these showers really just kind of hanging around and rotating, and a lot of them are going to come from the east, especially as we start to move towards Friday morning. We will dry out for Saturday and Sunday, then the next system comes our direction as we start to move towards early next week. But here's the bottom line. Here's what I really want you to take away. Today, tomorrow, things are going to be dry, but that rain starts to move in and that's what's going to impact your commute on Thursday and Friday, especially your Thursday evening commute, especially your Friday morning commute. Your Thursday morning might be dry, your Friday evening I'm expecting to be dry, but this really does begin to open the door for some colder temperatures to move into the picture as well. And we're talking well below average temperatures perhaps as we start to move into parts of your November. So that's something to be mindful of. But today we are staying dry, starting out in the 30s this morning. We'll warm up towards 55 as we move towards the afternoon. And then we are down into the 30s again as we move towards tomorrow. Eventually though, we see the cloud cover and now we're at Thursday. You see those showers starting to move our way as we move towards Thursday and those will likely have some winds associated with them as well. Cloud cover likes us likely sticks around on Friday once we get rid of the showers, but we'll see return of that sun for Saturday and into Sunday. Sunday, of course, is Halloween. We will have folks out trick or treating. No snow pants this year. At least that's how it looks as of now. If we get a snowstorm that shows up somehow between now and then. That would be something. Yeah, it would be something. It would be something, but I highly doubt that. No little Halloween graphic on Sunday? There's in, not in a forecast? Halloween graphic on We don't Sunday. have a Halloween graphic? Oh, well, we have one. There just isn't one. Chris, it's you only Tuesday. Me. Give him a break. <laughs> hey, when it shows up. I want to see that. Chris little... Reese lives for the emojis okay. on the weather graphics. I really do. So yeah, a but, yeah, dancing Halloween. pumpkin, a floating ghost. I don't even know what we have. Fella There's a dancing goblin that we need to see. It's a, it's a thing. Make it happen. Chris. It's a thing. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk see later. What we can find. <laughs> we'll talk. <laughs> 606 now. A 43 million dollar mixed use project on the south side is getting underway. The project at South Park and Cedar Streets will include 150 mixed income apartments in space for a 24,000 square foot grocery store. The neighborhood was at risk of losing a major grocery store, becoming a food desert. The apartments will include 30 supportive units, the most affordable and accessible apartments designated for people with disabilities or veterans. Construction is going to start right away and should be ready in about a year and a half. In Rock County, some vacant store space in Janesville is going to be transformed into the area's newest sports complex. A committee has been working for more than three years now to turn uptown Janesville into a new ice arena. The cost of the project, 30 million bucks. So far, nearly $4 million in private donations have been secured. Then last night, a vote by city council put another 2 million toward the project. That money coming from the federal American Rescue Plan. It's a real opportunity to transform the Milton Avenue corridor in Janesville and, and really bring a lot of economic impact to the community. So we're, we're really excited. Woodman's and Mercy Health will have naming rights to the arena, which will include a 1,600-seat ice rink. It's going to be the new home of the Janesville Jets hockey team. Cool. Yeah. Coming up, some Packers news that could mean trouble headed into their biggest game of the year so far. Which star player could be out? And guess who's back from vacation? Our Josh Breider. He's up next in the 608 with the Halloween display worth driving by in our neck of the woods. Madison Lighting, they're ready. It's your chance to pre-shop the fall sale at Madison Lighting. Every light fixture, every brand, indoors and out. Pre-shop the fall sale now for the best prices of the year. Watts Road, Madison. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right, visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Precision engineering, rigorous attention to detail. A Bryant Evolution heating system is so well designed, it's as much of a joy to install as it is to use. 
Good to go. Bryant, whatever it takes. In the Fitchburg area, contact Tarkenton Brothers Heating, Ventilating, and Air Conditioning for quality comfort solutions. The holidays are doubly important this year, so make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's Cheese. Pick and save. Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. When the leaves start to fall and the nights get cooler, you know it's sofa season. Steinhoffels has a sofa to fit every style and budget. A sofa for the big game, a sofa for catching up, a sofa for cuddling. During Steinhoffels Falling Prices Sale, every sofa, every bedroom, every dining room and more, it's all on sale. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of in-stock furniture and all the best brands of mattresses. It's the Falling Prices Sale, only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. Baby. Up would be the operative word there, pal. Yeah, yeah. All right, have a good day. If you ride, Come you on. get it. Oh, wow, we're really backed up. Geico okay, Motorcycle. Oh, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Here at Madison Lighting, they're ready. It's your chance to pre-shop the fall sale at Madison Lighting. Every light fixture, every brand, indoors and out. Pre-shop the fall sale now for the best prices of the year. Watts Road, Madison. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. Welcome back. We're just a few days from Halloween, and there's a family in the 608 who went all out for the occasion. A lot of families uh, have been going above and beyond this year. I've been noticing a lot more decorations oh, yeah. uh, you know, outside. Uh, so we sent Josh Breider out to search far and wide to find some of the coolest, and Josh, you found <laughs> an excellent one. Yeah, this is a heck of a display, guys. It's becoming a tradition for the Vulcan family. Our CBS affiliate in Chicago actually did a story on them last year when they lived in Illinois. But after moving to Wisconsin earlier this year, you'll now find it even bigger and better right here in the 608. We had so many inflatables when we moved into the house that are so much Halloween stuff that the movers were like, do you guys own a Halloween store? <laughs> I was like, no, just have an infatuation with Halloween, I guess. The Vulcans live on Silverado Drive just south of the Sun Prairie Memory Garden, and they're already making waves in their new community. You certainly won't miss their yard. Just check out their Halloween display. From a pirate ship to different inflatables, they wanted to keep the Halloween spirit going forward, even in their new home. The story behind it? Pretty cool. It involves their son, River, whose birthday is the day after Halloween. And coming up in our next half hour, guys, we're going to hear more from the family and River himself on what makes Halloween so special for them and why they want folks to be able to check it out this year. Uh, what a cool thing for their dad to do for River, the little kid, because his birthday is right after Halloween. I, dad goals, hello, come on. <laughs> That's really cute. It really is. It really is just kind of cool to see how people have, in, in, in this case, too, turned COVID into something more positive, yeah. trying to get people out there to be able to enjoy more things with the family in a safe space. So you'll definitely want to stay tuned for the full story here in about 30 minutes. Hey, Josh, by the way, you're looking a little tan. Welcome back from vacation. <laughs> do I look tan? I... I'm hoping the tan will stick around a little longer than a couple of days, but I can already tell it's fading. But hey, you got to take in the sun while you can. <laughs> Good to have you back, Josh. So remember to let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media, email him at in the 608 at wictv.com. Well, picking pumpkins is a little pricier this year because of a difficult growing season in many parts of the country. <laughs> Average prices this month are up nearly 30% compared to October of last year, and some varieties may be tough to find. In Illinois, that's certainly the case. Pumpkin blights surge due to heat and moisture, threatening to cause shortages of canned pumpkin for Thanksgiving pies. If you're looking for some last minute pumpkins, you should be able to find one, but selection could be slim and you will pay a bit more. I had to order a lot of pumpkins to supplement our own crop. So you have to go into it just knowing that you're not gonna make any money. 
Across the country, states are seeing issues in pumpkin production. Western states have been hard, hit hard because of the drought. Amazon employees in New York City are rallying to support forming a labor union. The organizers delivered 2,000 signatures to the federal labor officials on Monday. The National Labor Relations Board will have to verify the signatures. They need at least 30% of workers to sign on for this first step to move forward, a number they think is possible. We are forming a union uh, because Amazon is one of the richest companies in the world. Jeff Bezos is one of the richest men in the world. Uh, they have enough profits that they could give us what is our due. They do not make any of that money without us. It's not the first time an Amazon location has tried to unionize. Back in April, an Alabama facility rejected a vote on the topic. Quarter after six now. Let's get to check your first one forecast and your traffic. With me, all is Chris Reese. Hey, Chris. Hey, we're talking about that upper air weather pattern. Shots of colder air are getting ready to move into the picture and more frequently, especially as we start to open up that door into November. So watch this. We're paying attention to part to Canada, and that's where our shots of colder air are going to be coming from. And you're going to see them just continue like a train <laughs> and just develop and move towards the south and east. Another one develops, it'll move towards the south and east. That's the expectation as we open up the 11th month of the year and move into the middle and perhaps even third or fourth week of it. So here's your probability of being below normal over the next six to 10 days and that sticks with us as we go through the next eight to 14 days. So at least the first full week of November into the second full week of November, we are expecting those temperatures to trend colder than normal. Some days your temperatures will be warmer than normal, but most overall will likely be a little bit cooler. Your average high is 55 right now. We are currently saying temperatures around or just above average. This is Sunday, Monday, that's November 1st. Watch the cold front and how temperatures begin to come down. We're talking highs in the 40s or overnight lows likely into the 20s on some of these days. And I'm being warm because I'll tell you a lot of the model data says no, your high stay in the 30s those days. I don't buy it just yet, but we're gonna watch it just like we watch traffic every single day. So far, there are no issues. Earlier, there were no issues. This is a good trend. We've gone through really several days with no issues. That's overall how things are. We like to keep it that way though. So we'll continue to watch traffic. If anything changes, we will let you know. We know you will. Thanks, Chris. The Packers have a huge game on Thursday and they may be without star receiver Devontae Adams. The Packers placed Adams on the COVID-19 list Monday. That means he's either tested positive or had a close contact. Adams will have to test negative two days in a row in order to play against the Cardinals on Thursday. Also, defensive coordinator Joe Barry has tested positive for COVID-19 and will miss Thursday's game. The Brewers saying goodbye to a fan favorite coach. Longtime Brewers coach Ed Cedar is retiring after 30 years with the organization. Cedar was the first and third base coach before serving as an advisor for the team this year. Cedar called his time with the crew a great ride. The World Series starts tonight between the Houston Astros and the Atlanta Braves. Game one tonight in Houston. This is the Astros third trip to the World Series since 2017. The Braves haven't been in 22 years. First pitch 709 tonight on Fox. Dave Chappelle is responding to the controversy over his latest comedy special, The Closer. Some LGBTQ advocacy groups are critical of the material. In videos posted to his Instagram, Chappelle says he's willing to meet with the transgender community, but that he's, quote, not bending to anybody's demands. Trans employees at Netflix participated in a walkout last week after the company continued to defend the closer. Chappelle told audiences he's been disinvited from several film festivals and that Netflix is the only one that hasn't canceled him yet. Minnesota's congressional delegation wants to award the congressional gold medal to Prince, the singer died in 2016 at the age of 57 at his Paisley Park estate in Minnesota of an accidental drug overdose. The legislation will be introduced in the House and Senate and must be approved by two thirds of members before it can be approved by President Biden. A New York woman is suing Kellogg over the fruit filling in its Pop-Tarts. According to the lawsuit, the advertising for strawberry Pop-Tarts are misleading because the filling uses more pears and apples than strawberries. The lawsuit calls for a jury trial and over $5 million in damages. Gallag has not commented. Ahead on CBS Mornings, Chef David Chang opens up about what it was like for him to rediscover the joy in cooking for his family over the pandemic. I actually had never cooked at home. I mean, I know Ever? that sounds ridiculous, 
I wasn't a young kid that tried to get in the culinary profession. My dad worked in the restaurant industry and he worked his entire life to make sure I would never work in the restaurant industry. <laughs> and I got into cooking after college and I never thought about cooking at home. You can catch the full interview on CBS Mornings right after News 3 Now this morning. Facebook is feeling the heat in the U.S. and the U.K. now after a slew of leaked documents were acquired by the press. CEO Mark Zuckerberg says the documents are being used to paint a false picture of the company, but whistleblower Francis Haugen testified before British lawmakers with new claims of the damaging effect of Facebook, alleging the platform knew it was being used to stir up ethnic violence in Ethiopia and Myanmar, but didn't do anything about it. 619 now, coming up in our next half hour, developing news on the availability of a COVID vaccine for kids, but, 5 to 11. But first, a new space station for paying customers. Who's building it and when you could visit. I'm possible at Cobus and Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit Cobuson.com to apply. Get your outdoor projects done right with Menards. With the best selection of pressure-treated lumber and the inventory to back it up, now is the time to get that outdoor project you've been meaning to get to done. Best yet, we've made it convenient for you to get in and get out. Whichever the project, Menards has the pressure-treated lumber to get it done. What a beautiful day to welcome you to your retirement with Physicians Mutual. Including coverage for the gaps in Medicare. Oh, I'm so happy I could just sing. <laughs> You've got that happy retirement feeling. I've got that Physicians Mutual feeling. You help me find the coverage I need. So you can have the retirement you deserve. I've got a good, good feeling now that I'm covered. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual. A mentor can be one of the most important pieces that impacts a child's success in life. Having a mentor can help a young person learn life skills, figure out a career path, learn how to navigate challenges, know there is another supportive adult in their corner, envision a whole new world. You can be this for a young person. This is how you make a difference. You can learn about several different mentoring opportunities at unitedmadison.com slash mentoring. Brought to you by United Madison. Running a race is a lot like investing. It takes discipline, patience, and time. But most importantly, it takes endurance. Because in order to go the distance, you need to be prepared to get there. At the Burrish Group at UBS, we have a trusted advisor that's ready to go the extra mile with you every step of the way. Call the Burrish Group today. Celebration of life, love, laughter, and Fiddler on the Roof. At Overture Center, November 16th through 21st. Tickets at Overture.org. Eliminate stress at iMart Express. New customers, you'll love your new view with 40% off your first purchase and a 365-day guarantee. Quality glasses made in-store and free frame. And lens protection for a year. At iMart Express, seeing better is living better. Cobuson Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobuson, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit cobuson.com to apply. We are back sharing Julie's morning with you. Oh, what a lovely photo. Uh, Gorgeous vanilla sky there in the background. Yeah, uh, thanks, Julie, beautiful. for sending that in. We'd love to see it. Just use the hashtag MyNews3Morning so you can share your morning with us. I say it all the time, but boy, that is frameworthy. Yeah, that's a good one. I like Should the symmetry. Eat? Things are nice and it's just Lines. nice and clean. Very good. 623 now. Jeff Bezos wants to build a commercial space station that's nearly as big as the International Space Station. Yeah, check this thing out. His company, Blue Origin, is proposing a massive new commercial space station. They call it Orbital Reef. 
It could be used to host science experiments, vacation getaways, and even in-space manufacturing. The company plans to work alongside startup Sierra Space to bring the space station to fruition. Blue Origin hopes Orbital Reef could be operational in the late 2020s, but the project is very expensive, as you can imagine, and also risky. Hmm, what do you think about this, the space travel? Oh, I vacation. think it would be. A, it's going to be a big hit. I think they're going to get a lot of people lined up to go visit it once it's uh, up and running. Now, when you say a lot of people, what kind of people? Exactly. It's going to be decades. The people who can afford it. Yeah, because I was be like, a big hit. I can't afford that. Right. I mean, I doubt they're doing this for charity. They're not just sending people up in space who want to go. I, you know, it's spending billions of dollars to go hang out in space for a while. You're, they're doing Breaking it to make news. money. He amounts, he does it for charity. Come on. Uh, no, it's just, <laughs> I was just like, I don't know, how big of a hit can it be if you have to be like a billionaire to afford to do it? I think there are plenty of billionaires on earth who can, who can handle it. Maybe by the time we're in our 80s or 90s, Chris, it's going to be accessible to the rest of us. I, I think it would be a big hit though. I'm just giving Chris Stanford crap. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it would be because if if you could just, go, you know, I've seen them do these little trips to space and they're there for like 11 seconds. Right. Yeah. And they come, I'm like, I would do that. That, that actually sounds kind of cool. I need more than 11 seconds. Yeah, I agree. Space. For the price, I don't yeah. know about that. I, I, I'd need to spend maybe $10 or less, but for 11 <laughs> seconds, I think I'd do it. It's like just a tease. I know. Right, give me some more. I know. Right. We are, we are cool, watching though. the bus stop forecast for you guys this morning. We see sunshine today. Yesterday it was the cloud cover and the raindrops. Today a totally different story. We are a lot cooler. 32 <laughs> degrees right now, 47 at lunchtime. <laughs> and we're going to warp things up towards uh, the mid-50s as we move towards the afternoon. Now, if you've been wanting to wash your car, today is certainly a good day to do it. Tomorrow's a good day to do it. Thursday... Things begin to change. Our next rainmaker begins to move into the picture on Thursday. After that, we may dry out for a little bit. That six to 10 day outlook expects us to be drier than normal across the lower 48. All right, thank you, Chris. Stay with us. We're back right after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Here at Madison Lighting, they're ready. It's your chance to pre-shop the fall sale at Madison Lighting. Every light fixture, every brand, indoors and out. Pre-shop the fall sale now for the best prices of the year. Watts Road, Madison. You protected our rights, preserved our freedom, you may have even risked your life for us. Now, it's our turn to fight for you. Your local Wisconsin emergency, energy, and housing assistance providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund reward the service of our veterans with rental and energy support in their time of crisis. Apply today to get the fresh start you've earned. If your credit card debt is out of control, if you're in over your head in monthly payments, there's a secret the credit card companies don't want you to know. If you have more than $10,000 in credit card debt, you have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. That's bad news for the credit card companies, but it's great news for you. We're Credit Associates, and we're offering you free information on how to completely resolve your credit card debt with a monthly payment you can afford. To see how much you can save, call now. 1-800-914-7929. Don't declare bankruptcy. Don't consolidate. Give us 10 minutes and we can save you thousands. After all, we depend on your success and offer a guarantee so there's no risk to call. Credit Associates. Live better, debt-free. We'll even show you how to use your stimulus money to jumpstart our services and get you debt-free faster than you ever thought possible. Call Credit Associates now to see how much you could save for free. Call 1-800-914-799. He doesn't just talk. Democrat Alex Lazary gets it done. Help build Pfizer Forum on progressive values. Wages, $15 an hour. Materials, 80% from Wisconsin. Environmentally cutting edge. Alex Lazary. Leader on social justice. Proven activist for voting rights. Alex Lazary. The Democrats have beat Ron Johnson. It's why Alex Lazary is endorsed by Wisconsin's leading unions. For Senate, Alex Lazary. I'm Alex Lazary, and I approve this message. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys 
may limit your options. At U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Here at Madison Lighting, they're ready. It's your chance to pre-shop the fall sale at Madison Lighting. Every light fixture, every brand, indoors and out. Pre-shop the fall sale now for the best prices of the year. Watts Road, Madison. Right now, how soon vaccines can be rolled out after a big announcement today? High pressure is in control right now, but more rain is on the way. We're going to track that in your first storm forecast. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning on your Tuesday. I'm Leah Lynchine. And I'm Chris Stanford. Thanks for joining us. Vaccine news this morning. An FDA advisory committee will meet this morning on whether to recommend the Pfizer vaccine be approved for kids ages 5 to 11. If authorized, it would be for emergency use. Doctors in our area say as soon as they get the green light, they're prepared to get kids vaccinated immediately. We will be able to supply that vaccine in our normal operations. So we will have uh, pop-up clinics. SSM Health and UW Health will offer the vaccines at pediatric appointments. The shot will still be available at different pharmacies too. Appointments though will not become available for at least another week. That's because after the FDA recommendation, the CDC also has to sign off on the shot. They're meeting on the topic on November 2nd. Now, if you want to be the first to know what the FDA decides today, we're going to push updates out through our mobile app as soon as it happens. You can download it in your app store. The Pfizer news will come right after Moderna showed off trial results of its vaccine for school-aged children. The pharmaceutical company says the trial among 4,700 kids showed smaller doses generated a strong immune response in children ages 6 to 11. Moderna says the kids' antibody response kicked in a month after the second dose. The company plans to submit their results to the FDA. The Madison School Board voting unanimously to ban the use of hidden surveillance cameras. Last night's decision comes after officials placed them in the East High School locker room in an effort to catch an employee sleeping on the job. Police, though, later determined one of the cameras was aimed toward an area where students with disabilities change, angering parents and advocates. We are learning that a family from northwest Wisconsin is among the American missionaries kidnapped in Haiti. They're from the town of Ladysmith up in northwest Wisconsin, population of about 3,000. The family being told by the U.S. government to keep a low profile and disclose as little information as possible to keep themselves and their loved ones safe. The father, mother, and their two children were part of a Mennonite church nearby. The community is now praying for their safe return. It's hard enough when you hear about Americans being kidnapped, but when it's in your own back door, that's a little harder to take and grasp. The FBI says they have tactile teams in Port-au-Prince negotiating for the release of all 17 hostages. A brief scare at Stoughton High School this week. The building went into lockdown around 10.30 yesterday morning after reports of an armed person near campus. All outside doors to the building, along with classroom doors, were locked while classes continued. The lockdown was lifted about an hour later, and there appeared to be some confusion here. Stoughton police tell us the person was already in custody before they called the school, and the person was never near school grounds. The Janesville School District says it was hit with a ransomware attack over the weekend. That attack locking student staff and parents out of several web-based systems and programs. The district's IT team contacted the state's cyber response team, the FBI, and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security. Officials say at this point, they have not received a ransom note indicating demands to unlock the servers. 6.33 now. Chris Reese here with your certified most accurate forecast. Hey, Chris. High pressure is in control for us this morning, and that means we'll see more sunshine out there today. But already there's a little bit of cloud cover trying to stream in from the north and west. That is associated with our next rainmaker that's already starting to get attacked together back towards the west. That will be working its way eastward as we go through time. It's tomorrow night. 9:30. We'll see the cloud cover moving in, but most of that rain will stay back to our west as we go throughout tomorrow. But we move towards Thursday afternoon. Here it comes, and it's going to be working its way on in from the south and east. The system itself will come from the west, but with that low to our south, our winds are going to be moving off of Lake Michigan. That's where a lot of our rain showers will be coming from. Watch what happens, though. We should be dry for the weekend and into your Halloween. But this system opens up the door for a colder pattern in the next week. And it's a pattern that could 
deliver the first flakes of snow around here. What's showing up on this particular model, I do not buy, but I believe it's hinting at the direction of where we're going when it comes to the weather as we go through the next couple of weeks. Back to the rain, though. As you are headed out or making your plans for Thursday into Friday, now is a good time to get that game plan ready, especially if you have the outdoor plans for the rain. We'll let you know if you need to take action. Commute wise, today is going to be all clear. Tomorrow's generally all clear as well, but that rain will arrive into the picture as we get towards Thursday. This is Doppler track right now. A beautiful day is expected for us. Honestly, look at that gorgeous sunrise taking shape at this time of the day. Our ability to see these sunrises is numbered because the sun is rising later and later, but we're at 32 degrees right now. So we are at the freezing point. A lot of spots are into the 20s as well. So think 30s and 20s when it comes to your temperatures by lunchtime. We're at 49. We'll top out at 55 later on today. Then overnight tonight, we're going back down to the 30s. Here we start to see more of that cloud cover moving into the picture, and then we'll see those showers starting to work their way on in from the south and east as we start to move towards your Thursday. So we're watching Thursday and Friday. It won't rain the whole day, but we will see the widespread showers Thursday and Friday. Then you have your weekend. Things are looking dry for us. I put a Halloween graphic up there for you, Chris Stanford. So there you go. Hey, it's my we pumpkin. have a little pumpkin. And then we'll be into the 40s in the days to follow that, starting early November. Can I get a dancing skeleton or a little ghost, or uh, is this too our much? Our system didn't have it. Oh, needy, needy. No. I was going to say, the system didn't have it. No Take what you can get. <laughs> All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. <laughs> 635 now, a Madison mom is calling for action, telling our team a staffing shortage at the school district is leaving her daughter without the resources she needs in class. We're respecting the mother's request not to name her daughter out of fear of bullying. So we looked into the problem statewide and how a local college hopes to help. I'm going to fight and go to war for my babies to get what they need. Andrea Amos will go on the defense for her daughter every time. My job is to protect you from that, and I'm gonna do that by all costs. She's a teenager, just turned 15, and loves basketball. But sometimes, Andrea says the game seems stacked against her. She wants to learn. That's her biggest thing. Andrea's daughter is adopted and has fetal alcohol syndrome. She suffers from short and long-term memory loss. Her teachers at La Follette High are supposed to follow an individualized education program, or IEP, assigned since kindergarten. She's supposed to have a person with her to help her understand the directions because of the sensory issues. But this school year, Andrea says her daughter has come home unhappy, claiming she wasn't receiving that help. Andrea called the school and also talked to her daughter's teacher in person. Both times she was told this. They weren't going to be able to cover her uh, for her IEP because they didn't have enough staff and other kids with uh, special needs will trump her. We checked with the Department of Public Instruction. Under state and federal law, a student's IEP must be implemented as written. And we checked Andrea's daughter's IEP. It specifies she received 30 minutes of additional adult support in each core class. School districts shouldn't have opened the school without all of the kids in mind. We've seen school districts struggle to fill positions across the board, but it is especially troublesome when it comes to the shortage of teachers for special ed. DPI's best data for determining just how short Wisconsin is on special ed teachers is the number of emergency licenses issued for the position. Last school year, public schools issued almost 1,100. That's a roughly 300% increase from the 2012-2013 school year. They hear about the stress and anxiety and hard work of dealing in, in special education. It provides a clear path to a meaningful profession. Madison College might be part of the solution. They've created a clean pipeline for two-year students to transfer to UW-Madison with automatic admission into the School of Education as long as they meet certain milestones. The goal to entice more future teachers who might not otherwise have thought a four-year degree was for them. The Madison Metropolitan School District, meanwhile, isn't playing ball. We asked for a comment on Andrea's allegations in half a dozen calls and emails the one response we received is that the district thought her complaint had been addressed. Andrea says otherwise. One class she's in, she's not getting help in that class at all. 
still to this day. It leaves her wondering whether other kids with IEPs are getting the help they need too for a fair shot at school. If I had known that she could have went through the whole school year and not had any help, and I thought they said no kid is left behind. So we are continuing to reach out to the Madison School District to ask for answers for Andrea's questions and for the implications for other students with IEPs. Meanwhile, if you have a consumer complaint you need help with, you can call for action anytime online. Just head to channel3000.com slash call for action to file a report. I think these stories are so important, Leah, because it really gets to the heart of these big issues that we see in the news so often. This teacher, sh teacher shortage is affecting so many school districts across this, the country, our area is not immune to that, but this is really getting down into what's falling through the cracks that needs to be addressed. Yeah, it's certainly not just the Madison School District. Yeah. It's school districts across Wisconsin and across the country. Part of the problem is the Department of Public Instruction doesn't necessarily know how short-staffed districts are because they don't keep track of those openings. The mm. best case... Really? The best statistics they could give us is the number There's of emergency yeah, licenses, licenses issued. <laughs> That's it. So it's hard to pinpoint who's really being hit the hardest here. Yeah, and then I think this is really an effect of the labor shortage across the country. Yes. The teacher shortage is included in this as well. It's just hard to find workers, and when it's affecting kids in the classroom, something's got to be done about it. Certainly. All right, good report. Thank you. 640, as we take a look outside this morning, it's a chilly start. We are tracking some rain in the forecast, and we're going to take a look at your trick-or-treating forecast on Sunday. And we are back in the 608 this morning with how a local family is the talk of their neighborhood this Halloween. A celebration of life, love, laughter, and Fiddler on the Roof. At Overture Center, November 16th through 21st. Tickets at Overture.org. It's time to find your next Chevy truck and forge ahead, take on new challenges, and take it to the next level. It's the perfect time to do more in your next Chevy. Find new possibilities, find new roads. Eligible customers get great offers from GM Financial Plus. No monthly payments for 120 days on all 2021 Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups and get $1,500 cash allowance. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Before treating your chronic migraine, 15 or more headache days a month, each lasting four hours or more, you're not the only one with questions about Botox. Botox prevents headaches in adults with chronic migraine before they even start, with about 10 minutes of treatment once every three months. So ask your doctor if Botox is right for you, and if a sample is available. Effects of Botox may spread hours to weeks after injection, causing serious symptoms. Alert your doctor right away as difficulty swallowing, speaking, breathing, eye problems, or muscle weakness can be signs of a life-threatening condition. Side effects may include allergic reactions, neck and injection site pain, fatigue, and headache. Don't receive Botox if there's a skin infection. Tell your doctor your medical history, muscle or nerve conditions, and medications, including botulinum toxins, as these may increase the risk of serious side effects. In a survey, 92% of current users said they wish they talked to their doctor and started Botox sooner. Plus, right now, you may pay $0 for Botox. Ask your doctor about Botox today. This year has been good for binging, but bad for bodies. Maybe your me time could use an upgrade to Massage Envy, where more people go to feel and look better. Massage Envy, keep your body working. It's that time of year to hit the open road. To make sure your trip is safe, Meineke is now offering free brake pads. Call your Madison area Meineke for details. Meineke Car Care Center is here to help. A celebration of life, love, laughter, and Fiddler on the Roof. At Overture Center, November 16th through 21st. Tickets at Overture.org. Years after reporting, her father abused her. He confessed to sexual contact with me. Yet he continued to walk free. Madeline O'Neill talks to a local woman who spent decades seeking justice. And I'm not going away. News 3 now investigates Thursday at 6. UW Athletics and the Goodman Community Center need your help to provide Thanksgiving meals for 4,000 families. Please consider a food or monetary gift. We're grateful for any gift you can provide. Donate at GoodmanCenter.org. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. 
Hi, Chris. I'm Kayla from West Madison. Chris, plan my day. <laughs> It's going to be a beautiful day around here, especially after we had a lot of that cloud cover yesterday, a lot of the rain yesterday morning as well. Take a look at this. That's the sunrise, a beautiful shot, and we will see that sun all day long. Temperatures 55. That's what we're warming up to, which is exactly where we actually should be for this time of the year. These temperatures are on par with average. This is Doppler track. We are quiet over West Madison, Kayla, and we're going to stay quiet as we go throughout today. But changes come our direction. We've got to go back towards the west to find them. But here's our next system. It's bringing the rain and the snow to parts of the Rockies. That brings rain to us as we start to move towards Thursday. And we're talking widespread rain, especially Thursday night and into early parts of Friday. That being said, today's going to be great. So get outside, enjoy that. And folks, let me plan your day as well right here on News 3 Now this morning. Will do. Thanks, Chris. 644 Halloween coming up and there's a family in the 608 who really went all out. Oh yeah, Josh Ryder back from vacation. He's here now with more on how they celebrate every year. Hey Josh. Hey guys, good to see you. It is becoming a tradition for the Vulcan family. Their first Halloween display was featured by our CBS affiliate last year in Chicago. But after moving to Sun Prairie earlier this year, you'll now find it even bigger and better. My dad goes crazy for Halloween. Two and a half years ago, we moved to Illinois. Uh, COVID hit and my son was turning six. And so I thought, well, I want to do something special for his six-year-old birthday. He was born the day after Halloween. And so he'll turn seven this year. Just call me seven because I'm about to be seven. So we moved here uh, to Sun Prairie about um, six months ago. And so had some opportunity to, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll pull out some of those decorations that we brought in and decided to kind of go with the same thing. My dad loves pirates in his yard for Halloween. Pulled out some of the inflatables and I started creating stuff back in August. In fact, we had so many inflatables that we passed them off to some neighbors here. Dad does go crazy for Harry. I was able to kind of blend our family time with decorating. That was, you know, a lot of fun. I guess I helped a little bit, but not like big time. He started at a young age kind of building and, and gluing and sculpting and stuff. And so I'll kind of steer him one way and say, well, I don't know if this will stand up or if this will hold. And, and then, like, he built a little ghost by the tree uh, all on his own completely. Oh. You know, people come by and they drive by and walk by and, and it becomes kind of a, uh, you know, a talking point. And it was really great during COVID, too, because people could, at that point, just only get out of their house to walk around. And so it gave kind of some joy and, and stuff for people to do, you know, to talk and take a walk. And the most common comment that I hear is, where do you put it all? And I instantly just say, well, do you guys have any extra space in your house? <laughs> Oh, that laugh gets me every time. So the family is located on Silverado Drive, just south of the Sun Prairie Memory Garden. You can check it out through Halloween. For more information, you can go up to channel3000.com. And all the credit for this story goes to my partner, crime photo journalist, Mark Schilling. He put this together while I was on vacation, guys. What a neat story. Yeah, and what a character. River is so cute, Josh. He's turning seven this year, and you can already <laughs> tell he's very well-spoken, so I love that. And I also love that laugh there at the end. It doesn't get any better than that. I'd really like to hear your guys a spooky laugh. Chris Stanford. <laughs> <laughs> now you go. I did it. You do it. <laughs> that is more than enough television gold that we need for a Tuesday morning. Josh Preiter, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Remember Josh don't inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or shoot him an email. It's in the 608 at WICTV.com. That's it. That's our show. See you guys later. <laughs> Okay, okay. So, Wisconsin, you should grab your swimsuits because apparently it's peak surfing season. No need to get on a plane either. Just head to Lake Michigan. That's right. So, the colder weather patterns that bring in storms like yesterday's make the waves perfect for surfing right now. So, one surfer in Port Washington says he tracked yesterday's weather pattern for four days to make sure it was a good day to surf. When I started surfing here, I was just blown away about how fun and good it can be. And I was hooked. And so, you know, I surf through the year now. And, uh, yeah, it's special just because, you know, it's a lake. But the waves get good and fun. How about that, huh? So she's got his wetsuit on. How cold do you guys think the water is on Lake Michigan right now? Too cold. Too cold? Too cold. I would say 40 
Fifties, if I had to guess. Mm. I, I, I looked it. I looked it up, and the water temperature on Lake Michigan right now is in the sixties. Really? Wow. Yeah. Well, so the air temperature is going to be colder than the the water temperature. Yeah. Which I don't know. The water might feel kind of nice then. Count me in. Still colder than the body. I'll say that much. <laughs> <laughs> it's colder than 98.6. It's going to feel cold when you get in it. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, uh, you got to be pretty daring to get out there on a surfboard this time of year, Chris Reese. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I've, I've had friends to do it, though. Well, friends more daring than I. <laughs> for I sure. We're laughing at those friends in our Halloween, our Halloween <laughs> giggle. Chris Stanford, one more before we head to break? <laughs> Uh, well, I think one is played. <laughs> okay, okay, we're done. Well, 640, 6.49 now, coming up with the morning sprint. A judge deciding the final rules for Kyle Rittenhouse's trial, when it starts and what to expect. First, we want to say happy birthday to Mylan and all the kiddos turning three today. Thank you so much for celebrating with News 3 Now this morning. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Precision engineering, rigorous attention to detail. A Bryant Evolution heating system is so well designed, it's as much of a joy to install as it is to use. Good to go. Bryant, whatever it takes. In the Fitchburg area, contact Tarkenton Brothers Heating, Ventilating, and Air Conditioning for quality comfort solutions. I've lost count of how many asthma attacks I've had, but my new normal with Nucala, fewer asthma attacks. Nucala is a once-monthly add-on injection for severe eosinophilic asthma, not for sudden breathing problems. Allergic reactions can occur. Get help right away for swelling of face, mouth, tongue, or trouble breathing. Infections that can cause shingles have occurred. Don't stop steroids unless told by your doctor. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection. May cause headache, injection site reactions, back pain, and fatigue. Ask your doctor about Nucala. Find your new normal with Nucala. The holidays are doubly important this year, so make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's Cheese. Pick and save. Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never-frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Come join the amazing team of compassionate caregivers at the one and only Attic Angel Community. Attic Angel Community of Madison is looking for skilled RNs and CNAs and offers shift differentials and on-demand pay, tuition reimbursement, wellness center, and much more. CNAs starting at $17 an hour. We also offer rewarding careers in housekeeping and food service. Apply online today at atticangel.org. Come join the one and only Attic Angel Community. I was doing some shopping and got a pop-up on my laptop. Computer had a virus. So I called the number on the page and the guy on the phone wants to take control of my screen to sort it out. Then I remember a tip I got from the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Control my screen. This is a tech support scam. Thankfully, my order still went through. Ah. Recognize fraud sooner so your money lives longer. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake, where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. The 2021 Nissan Rogue, anything but Basic. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models or save up to 4262 on select models. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 6.53, time for the morning sprint. A Kenosha County judge setting the final ground rules for what type of evidence will be allowed at Kyle Rittenhouse's trial. The judge will allow testimony from the defense's use of force expert. Prosecutors had asked the judge to disqualify him, saying his expertise is in police, not civilian use of force. The trial is set to begin next Monday. The Dane County Sheriff says he is looking into temporary housing options now for jail residents as new jail plans continue to stall. Tomorrow, the county's personnel and finance committee will 
will meet to consider an additional $23 million to the already approved $148 million plan. Sheriff Calvin Barrett is considering temporarily housing city county building residents in surrounding county jails now. He would uh, not need the county board's approval to do so, and that would cost millions as well per year if he chooses that solution. Two people killed, at least four others hurt, during a mass shooting at an Idaho mall yesterday. Among the injured was a police officer who was one of the first responders on the scene at the Boise Town Square Mall. Last night, investigators said the gunman was taken into custody after exchanging fire with police. The suspect is in the hospital in critical condition. Starting today, a Red Cross blood drive on campus. The blood drive is happening at the Gordon Event and Dining Center near the Cole Center. They'll be there today, tomorrow, and Thursday from 11 to 5. They're expecting 400 donations to help during this national blood shortage. With the nearing possibility of a children's COVID vaccine, adults are continuing to protest the shot. Workers took to the streets of New York City yesterday. That city's police union is filing a suit against the Big Apple's vaccine mandate, which would require all police and city workers to get at least one shot by 5 p.m. this Friday or take an unpaid leave of absence. The Madison School Board voting unanimously last night to ban the use of hidden surveillance cameras. The decision comes after officials placed them in East High School locker rooms in an effort to catch an employee sleeping on the job, but police later determined that one of the cameras was aimed toward an area where disabled students changed. That angered parents and advocates for the disabled. The oil business continuing its spectacular recovery. It topped $85 a barrel today for the first time in seven years. That marks a 13% jump in oil prices this month alone and a 120% rise since this time last year. The average price for a gallon in the U.S. now stands at $3.38. Nearly all foreign travelers entering the U.S. will have to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 under a new rule announced yesterday by the White House. Airlines will also be required to gather information from all passengers in case contact tracing becomes necessary after a flight. Shut out the door this morning. Grab the jacket. Temperatures are below freezing, but also grab the sunglasses, friends. We're going to see that sun with us pretty much all day long. We'll warm up to the 50s, so that will be one thing that feels a little bit nicer than what we feel out feel like outside right now. But that sun ray hitting you is going to make it feel even warmer than it actually is when you are out and about. Rain chances stay low today, but they do increase as we move towards Thursday and Thursday night. But they then by afternoon on Friday, we'll get rid of that rain and we'll stay dry in the days to follow. Chris Reese, thank you very much. Stay with us, folks. Another news and weather update coming up in just about half an hour.